I'm Susie Sa, in tonight for Pat Harvey. And I'm Rick Garcia. He said it was a bomb. And that's what a child revealed about an illegal firework that exploded last night in San Bernardino, sending three boys to the hospital. CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live with some disturbing pictures and what one mother said about her injured son. Dave. Well, police are still investigating. Uh, we do know that it was some type of illegal fireworks. It was uh, not a, an arsenal can. It uh, was not something that was safe and sane, not by the way the explosion was described. And also, the father of one of those uh, four boys told police he should have been out here, but he wasn't. He says, I have no excuses, and he also was being investigated. But three of the boys are injured, and all four basically are lucky to be alive. The next thing I know, I see two kids running this way, both screaming, I'm dying, I'm dying. And seconds later, Myla Burnett said she realized one of those boys screaming was her 10 year old son, Jeffrey Jones. He's got burns on his stomach, his legs. And she said he still has a ringing in his ears. Eight year old Ronnie Mata, everybody calls him Skeeter, was not so lucky. According to his aunt, he lost his right hand. And on his left hand, they're trying to save his, his fingers. And Skeeter's aunt told me, her little nephew will need more surgery to repair the damage done to his chest. A third boy, identified only as Isaiah, age 10, remains hospitalized. No report on his injuries. An eight year old Demarcus Mitchell, who was standing with the other boys and whose mother said it was okay to talk to him, described to me what he saw. He M80. said it was a bomb. He said it was a bomb? Isaiah said he was going to light a bomb. Just by itself, or did he put it in a can? He put it in his hand. He put it in his hand and he lit it? DeMarcus told me he ran as soon as the, quote, bomb went off, and he suffered only superficial wounds. Four young boys standing on the sidewalk just after 8.30 last night, no parental supervision. And police still don't know exactly what was lit and what caused the explosion. There were no remnants of any kind of explosive device found at the scene. But according to the mother of eight-year-old DeMarcus, she did not want to go on camera. She said what exploded was a homemade bomb device. She said her eight-year-old son described to her something that was wrapped in tin foil. One of the boys brought it out to the sidewalk. All the other boys were around. He showed it. He then lit it, threw it up in the air. It exploded, and that's when the boys took off running. Was it wrapped? In aluminum. Ten-year-old Jeffrey Jones described the explosive. It was round. It was wrapped in aluminum. And then before the aluminum was wrapped on it, it had, like, cardboard. Hmm. And did it blow up right away? The pain on his face perhaps says it all. He suffered some severe b burns, not only his face, but also his chest, but is expected to make a recovery, and the ringing in his ears was starting to subside. Again, one of the parents of the four boys uh, told police he should have been out here. He wasn't. He's being investigated, and police are also, no comment on whether or not this was a homemade device or not, but they're looking into that as well. Back to you in the studio.